am so hyper. One cold December night back in 1984, a scientist had found himself upon the dance floor. He started twitching and shaking like a pile of jumping beans. And at first it looked stupid, but the end justified the means. I don't know why. It's 12 o'clock in the evening. There's no reason for me to be this hyper. I haven't had anything sugary to eat. I haven't had anything caffeinated to drink. All in all, it's been like this for a long time. I mean, I don't really have a reason to be excited. Nothing's happening. <laughs> um, I'm taking this out. It's really hot in my room right now. Why I'm wearing a sweater? Because that makes sense. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, hold on. One moment. I gotta. Whew. Am I crooked? I look crooked. So I've recently discovered that the end of the world is coming. It's true. I don't know if you saw it today, but where I'm living, you can see everything, including the really creepy rainbow. I mean, rainbows aren't usually deemed creepy, but this one was. It started right here. This is like, some term, Redwood City. And then it ended here, which is like, somewhere over Palo Alto. But then all over here, the sky was blue. And it didn't rain until after the rainbow. Now rain in August in California is weird. Not only that, but then it turned pitch black in like five minutes. It went from sunset to blackness. All in a span of five minutes. What is that? Other than that, the world's pretty normal. Except for my hyper attitude that I can't seem to get rid of at all. I've tried listening to sad music. That hasn't helped. Then I tried listening to angry music. That didn't help either. So now, I'm out of options. I guess I should just go to bed. Except I can't! <laughs> That or I need to enter in like cage fighting matches. Cause I hear those are exciting. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna go wallow in self pity. Or jump on the bed again. Either one. Jitterbug out. <laughs> <laughs>